In nature, piglets are typically born as part of a natural reproductive process involving female pigs, known as sows. The gestation period for pigs is approximately 114 days, although it can vary slightly depending on the specific pig breed. A boar, or male pig, is introduced for mating. Natural mating involves copulation between the boar and sow, after successful mating, the fertilized eggs travel down the sow's reproductive tract and implant in the uterus. Sows typically build nests or find a secluded area in preparation for farrowing. Piglets are born one after another, usually within intervals of 15 to 30 minutes. The birth process can last several hours, during which the sow may take breaks between delivering piglets. Piglets are born with a thin membrane covering them, which the sow typically breaks open using her snout. This helps stimulate the piglets and encourages them to start breathing. Newborn piglets instinctively seek their mother's teats for nourishment, as sow's milk provides essential nutrients and antibodies, sows are generally protective of their piglets and play a crucial role in caring for them during the early days. A wean to finish pig farm is a type of swine operation where pigs are raised from the time they are weaned from their mother, usually around 3 to 8 weeks of age, until they reach market weight. This approach eliminates the need for transporting pigs between different facilities for various stages of growth, providing continuity and efficiency. Piglets are weaned from their mother's milk at an early age, typically around 3 to 8 weeks. Weaning involves separating piglets from the sow and transitioning them to solid feed. At this stage, piglets are usually introduced to a diet specially formulated for their nutritional needs. After weaning, piglets move to the nursery phase, where they are housed in a dedicated facility called a nursery. The nursery provides a controlled environment with proper ventilation, heating, and space for piglets to grow. During the nursery phase, piglets continue to receive a balanced diet to support their growth and development. Following the nursery phase, pigs move to the growing phase. This phase is characterized by increased space allowance to accommodate the growing size of the pigs. The diet is adjusted to meet the nutritional requirements of growing pigs. This typically includes a mix of grains, protein sources, vitamins, and minerals. In the finishing phase, pigs are raised until they reach market weight, which is usually around 250 to 300 pounds, 113 to 136 kilograms, depending on market specifications. The finishing phase focuses on maximizing growth efficiency and ensuring that the pigs reach market weight within a specified time frame. Wean to finish facilities are designed to provide a comfortable and controlled environment for pigs at every stage of growth. Ventilation systems, temperature control, and proper flooring are important aspects of the facility to ensure pig welfare and optimal growth. Modern pig farms often use advanced technologies and management practices to monitor and optimize the pig's environment, health, and nutrition. Disease prevention and health management are critical on pig farms. Vaccination programs, biosecurity measures, and regular health monitoring help maintain a healthy pig population. Veterinarians may be involved in developing health protocols and providing care if needed. The Big Dutchman Trisort Pro system is an automatic sorting scale designed for successful pig finishing. The double and very stable entrance door is always open when the scale is empty. If a pig enters the scale, the entrance door closes automatically due to the weight change on the scale. This way, only one pig at a time can enter the scale. The system is designed to sort finishing pigs kept in large groups, optimally around 250 to 400 pigs per group. The system provides permanent weight monitoring of all pigs. This information about daily weight gains and thus the health of the pigs is available at any time. Underweight or overweight pigs can be marked with two different colors. This helps in quick identification of these pigs. Thanks to the precise weight data, each feeding area can be supplied with an individual feed type. The system helps determine the exact weight and number of ready-to-slaughter pigs. This assists with the planning of the slaughtering date. The pigs delivered to the slaughterhouse precisely match the slaughtering criteria. This slaughter line called Van Winsberga, 
which is a high-quality system designed for efficient pig slaughtering. So how it works? Unloading ramp, trucks carrying the pigs are unloaded at a designated ramp. Layerage, the pigs are then moved to layerage, which are holding areas for live animals. Automatic restrainer, the pigs are run to an automatic restrainer, such as the MPS Midas automatic restrainer and stunner. Bleeding, after stunning, the pigs are moved to a stainless steel bleeding table. A bleeding and scalding conveyor is used to transport the pigs. Scalding, the pigs are then moved to a scalding tank. Deherring, the pigs are dehaired using a two-door U-bar deherring machine produced by Vcons. Gambrelling, the pigs are then moved to a stainless steel gambrelling table. Cleaning, the pigs are cleaned using a clean line conveyor. A whip washer is used for this process. Singing, the pigs are then singed using a double singer. A whip washer is used again after this process. Organ removal, the organs are removed and transported using an automatic tray conveyor for white organs and a red organ conveyor. Splitting, the pigs are then split using an automatic Durand splitting machine. Weighing and grading, the pigs are weighed and graded using a weighing and grading system. This system is designed to process up to 300 pigs per hour. It's important to note that the exact process can vary depending on the specific setup of the slaughter line. Sausages are made from beef, veal, pork, lamb, poultry, and wild game, or from any combination of these meats. Sausage making has become a unique blend of old procedures and new scientific, highly mechanized processes. Traditionally, the sausage was formed into a symmetrical shape, but it now can be found in a variety of shapes and sizes to meet consumers' needs. Sausages can be classified in a variety of ways, but probably the most useful is by how they are processed. You will go over the main steps which are used to produce standard sausage products. 1. Selecting ingredients. The finished product is only as good as the ingredients it contains. Meat should be fresh, high quality, have the proper lean to fat ratio, and have good binding qualities. The meat should be clean and not contaminated with bacteria or other microorganisms. Selecting spices and seasonings and combining them in proper amounts is important. They must complement each other to create a satisfying product. At the same time, there are many non-meat ingredients that are essential to the sausage making process. These non-meat ingredients stabilize the mixture and add specific characteristics and flavors to the final product. Ingredients used in fresh sausage include water, salt, and antioxidants, along with traditional spices, seasonings, and flavorings. 2. Grinding meat ingredients. The second step in sausage production is grinding the ingredients by meat grinding machine efficiently. The grinding stage reduces the meat ingredients into small, uniformly sized particles. Ground meat is the primary ingredient in a sausage formulation. The characteristics of the meat ingredients used to create the sausage define the type of sausage such as the overall taste, texture, aroma, along with the protein and fat content. Some sausage products use coarsely ground meats, others use more finely ground meat ingredients. 3. Blending the meat and non-meat ingredients, the ground meat is then mixed with spices and seasonings. These must complement each other to create a satisfying product. 4. Stuffing and filling, the meat mixture is then stuffed into casings. The casings can be natural, made from animal intestines, or synthetic. 5. Smoking, some sausages are smoked for flavor and preservation. 6. Packaging and storage, Finally, the sausages are packaged and stored appropriately to ensure freshness and quality. I hope you got useful information in this video. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next videos.